Today we're off on an adventure. What is up YouTube, it's Gordon here from Gordo's Photos, having a fantastic day today. So, last minute sort of decision yesterday, we decided we want to get out of the house and do, go and do something. So we've decided to come across to Kuchi Mudlow Island. For those that don't know where that is, that is on this map that you're seeing right now. Uh, it's just off the coast of Victoria Point, it's about a 10 minute uh, boat ride. Um, so far, we've been here, what, five minutes or so? Yep. Not a lot here, but that's okay, that's what we're after. Uh, a lot of trees, some nice water over that side, and um, yeah, more trees. <laughs> what do you thought so far? It's an island. It's an island? <laughs> Man of many words. Obviously my other channel is a reefing channel, uh, so getting out to the beach is something which we don't do often enough. Uh, we only get out to the beach every sort of once or twice a year. Uh, my skin doesn't really like the sun, so I try and avoid it if I can. But uh, today we just want to get out, get some sun, get some sand in our toes. Yes, I took my thongs off to do that. Get some salt water on us and uh, Salt water that's not our fish tank for a change. So, so far I'm really, really impressed. It's um, a beautiful little island. So close to, to, to Brisbane. Brisbane is just over there. Victoria Point is just over there. I think that's Australia over there, but I'm not 100% sure. And I think Wynnum's probably over that way, about 20 odd k's. So really not that far from home. Took us about 40 minutes to drive here. Um, so far, really, really loving it. So to be completely honest, I have no idea what's really on this island. I've done a little bit of research, I did a bit of Google searching, watched a few videos. Um, really had no idea what to expect. Um, all I knew, there was some beaches, there was some water. Um, we brought our snorkeling gear, just in case, you never know. Uh, and um, yeah, so we're just hoping for the best. I think we're going to be uh, pleasantly surprised. So when we got up this morning, it was actually drizzling. Uh, so we sort of had a bit of a slow start to the morning. Um, not long after we had breakfast, it started bucketing down, raiding at home. Uh, and we were very tempted just to call the whole thing off today and plan it for another weekend. Luckily we didn't, because look at this weather. It is absolutely fantastic. It's stunningly blue sky. A little bit gray over there. But that way it's fantastically, stunningly blue sky. So what more could you ask for?
<laughs> got the snorkel, but there's not really a lot to see here. It's a bit murky, um, but you know, it's worthwhile. It's not too bad. Um, it's just nice to get wet. It really is. So. That's dirty. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. Really? Yep. <laughs> I don't know who invited him. It wasn't me. Yeah, it was. He's the only one that invites me. Because <laughs> no one else is game. <laughs> So we just walked halfway around the island along the beach. Um, the actual island itself is only a couple of kilometers long, a couple of kilometers wide, so it doesn't take that long to get around it. Uh, it's meant to be a shop on this side of the island, but it's disappeared or not there, or we couldn't find it. So we're gonna head, we'll head straight across the middle of the island to uh, find some food for lunch. So getting hungry, what about you? Very hungry. Very hungry. Well, we start getting hangry shortly, so ah. might turn the camera off. <laughs> All right, guys. So we've walked across the rest, of the, across the middle of the island. Took a whole of what 10, 15 minutes tops. We stopped and had some lunch at Kolu Cafe. Uh, really nice uh, rib billet sandwich I had, and Darren had a nice chicken sizzle burger. Chips were all right, a bit average, but the chips were okay. Burgers were definitely good, definitely worthwhile. This place has got everything. It's got food. It's got water. What more can you ask for? Definitely check it out, guys. Right, guys that's all for today's video um hope you've enjoyed your bit of a look around Kuchi Modlo Island it was a lot of fun very spare at the moment the weather's held out for us looking like it's going to start raining anytime soon now so we're going to head back to the ferry and head back to the mainland another whole 10 minutes on the ferry uh and then we're we'll back in the car and heading home so definitely lots of fun if you're in South East Queensland, check it out. It's worth, worth the uh, short trip and the $10 on the ferry just to see what it's like. We'll definitely be coming back here sometime in the very, very near future. So check it out. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Send me some love. Tell me what you thought of the video. Leave a comment in the... In the uh, uh, leave a comment below. But that's it for today, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.